deal. You know, it changed him was the uh, the fun fun ride he had at Dover. That that changed that, him. <laughs> that'll that'll change a man right there. <laughs> no, actually, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it, that was uh, obviously a wild ride. But you know, I mean, like I said, we we get into the nationwide race in Kansas. It, yeah, go. I was watching it right now. This yeah. is where this is where it gets real fun right here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, we won the next nationwide race, so it didn't affect me at all. You know, I got out of the thing shaking like, holy crap, what happened? But yeah. you know, after that. <laughs> Once I once I figured out where I was and which way it was up, I was uh, I was good to go. You were, you were telling me in the middle of that you're sitting there thinking, all right, that was one, so it's got to be over now. Okay, you would, it's you gotta would stop think now. So. Maybe it'll stop now. Well, maybe now. Yeah, well, my, no, my foot now. was on the brake pedal and <laughs> it just wasn't slowing down any. <laughs> but uh, I thought I was lucky when it came right back on its wheels right here. I was worried about it sitting on its side and figuring how it's gonna get out. But yeah, that's in the past, and now we're looking ahead. It is indeed. Um, as you come to Daytona, as as a, as a guy with a little bit of experience now. How were you treated do you, now that you look back on it as a rookie in this race last year? Were guys avoiding you like the plague, or did you, did you get more help than you thought? Um, it, I think it just takes time. You know, I think uh, there was times that you know, I probably could have had help go with me, and I was like, well, why, why didn't that happen? What happened? But yeah. that, that's why. You know? So I think um, you know, it comes with years. I'm not sure it's the rookie stripe. Basically, I think it's just you know time racing against these the guys experience. and all that and experience. I think that's that's the difference. So uh, you know, it's hopefully a lot better this year. And uh, you know, I know for me, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable out there. And and like I said, knowing what I want, know where I'm going out there, that's definitely going to help me. I remember you know last season, uh, you know, getting ready to start shootout practice. Uh, I didn't know where I was going. I haven't been on the racetrack with a cup car, and I'm going right there in draft practice with all these guys. So I'm like. <laughs> well, wish me luck, guys. You know that's about here all. We go. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Got to start yeah. somewhere. And, and that's pretty much getting thrown to the wolves. And you know that was a, a big learning curve. Last, you know those those two weeks and speed weeks last year was was crazy for me. Um, and you know I think this year I'm gonna have a lot more fun with it at least. And uh, you know just like I say, knowing where you're going, yeah, you know, that's a yeah. big deal. Your off season, I mean, did, did you race at all? I mean, you're kind of a winter sports guy, aren't you? So, I mean, you, you did a little bit of that, or just what, what exactly? How did you fill your time? Yeah, a little bit. I, I did try to ski, and that was the first time I went skiing in probably, I don't know, six years or so. I realized I still suck at that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I actually went bobsledding for the uh, Jeff Rodin right. bobsled challenge, and that was uh, just on TV not too long ago. I think it was last week they had it on, and uh, I was able to win that. Finally, it took me three years to get that, and that was uh, that's a lot of fun just uh you know, the, the Olympics are coming up, and it's cool to see the, the little bit that we can help, which ain't much, but the little bit that uh, we can help the U.S. bobsled team to, to win, that's definitely a, a big deal, and I'm excited about that. And uh, as far as racing, um, I got to run the uh, Toyota All-Star Showdown mm -hmm. uh, last weekend, able to win and that. One. So, Yep, brought the big W home, so that was fun. That was good just to knock the rust off, man. I tell you, uh, not racing since Homestead's weird. I mean, if you, if you get used to running two races a weekend, you know, over and over and over again, uh, you know, you get a week off, you're like, okay, this is going to be nice. And the second week off, you're like, what do I do on my weekends? <laughs> yeah, I found myself over at the Legends Cars and Bandolero track and yeah, the go-kart track racing. He came to watch my son race. That's how bored. Yeah. And I said, what are you, he's, I'm bored. I'm bored. Like, so I decided now i got to buy a Legends car for next winter so I can have <laughs> yeah. something to do. So that's, uh, that's kind of the, the boat I get into when I am uh, get bored. I just need to get something to race. I, we have some video <laughs> of your bobsledding. I want to I know, what is it like to go down in a bobsled? Is it scary or is it? Yeah, or is it, or is it, uh, it's, or is it it's fun? fun. Yeah, you know, the, the first time I was a little worried about it in the three years ago, and uh, I didn't know uh, where I was going to go. You know, once you once they push you off, you don't stop. How do you? I what mean, are you driving exactly? Yeah, are you I steering? Steer, or steer, along you, for steer, the you like my my set head by that the way? That is awesome. That's sick, isn't it? Yeah. No, when when you're you know, is it like two two hand controls. It's, there's two hand controls. It? It's like uh, they got strings of D rings on it, basically. That steer the, the rudders in the front there, and you know it's that's basically it. But there's no brakes, so you're getting down to the bottom <laughs> one way or another. Yeah. Whether it's on your lid or down, you're going to get down. It's, but uh, it, it's, it's fun. I mean, the first time, you don't remember the racetrack or anything like that. So, yeah. you know, what, what are you going off of? You're just kind of, oh, there's a turn, new turn. You know, that was but it, so. are you really turning? Because ice is going to turn you no matter what, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you're, yeah you'll get turned one way or another. But uh, it definitely, I mean, to, to get down there fast, it's all about that. And. You know, for for me, I learned a lot on you know it's not scrubbing speed. You know, I was trying to keep the thing low and going for shortest distance around the track, and it's pretty much opposite of a race car. Really? You know, it's, it's kind of get out in the turn and then try to slingshot yourself off it. You can feel, you know, it's one of those things you can feel the the force just pressing you down, and that's when you want to just you know take that and then try to get to accelerate you off the corner. And it's a matter of getting used to yeah. that and what that feel is, and then trying yeah. to get that to work for you and, and be as smooth as you can without scrubbing speed and all that. And it's 
like, holy cow, yeah. there's a lot more to this than I thought. And we got, we, and it's we, fun though. We got to let you go, but you're working with how much vision you're looking through, and but you got like, you, you got, I mean, it's like an it's, inch. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, I got plenty. I got my race helmet on, so it's kind of kind of what I was used but, to. But I mean, you're like but, uh, popping up through the top of it. Yeah, right? I mean, you can't really see a whole bunch because the turns are pretty sharp, and you yeah. can't see real far ahead as you're yeah. basically riding on a wall. So it's a lot of fun though. I enjoy it. Cool, man. No ice racing out here this weekend, okay? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Logano. Be All good. Right. We'll see Thanks, you soon. Thanks, guys. Right?